Hey, fourth grade, and welcome to your 10th lesson. Hi, fourth graders. So before we get started with what we're talking about today, remember last week, um, Miss Sarah and I challenged you guys to show some compassion because that's what we talked about, right? Hopefully you said something nice to somebody or you did something nice mm -hmm. for somebody. Um, so with that being said, this week we are talking about something completely new. Well, not completely new, um, but we're on a new unit and it's all about calming down. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you remember, stop, name your feeling and calm down. Mm -hmm. I miss that dance. Um, so then this week, Miss Sarah has a couple of videos for us all about calming down. I do. And this lesson is actually a two-parter. So we have two videos today. Next lesson, we'll finish it up. Before I get into the video, though, we are talking about calming down. And do you guys remember what happens or what we said happens when we let strong emotions build up, build up, build up? They kind of, you know, explode a little bit, right? And we say or do things that we don't always mean to do. You guys remember that hand brain? So the thumb represented the feelings part of the brain or the amygdala and the fingers represent the cortex or the thinking part of the brain. So when you are cool, calm and collected, your thinking part of the brain is in control of your feelings, helps you calm down easier, and make better decisions. But when we have a strong emotion and we let it build and build and build and build slowly, bah, the brain goes a little crazy because the feelings take over and the feelings don't think, they just do. And we don't want that to happen. Because like we said, sometimes bad things happen when our feelings take over. With that said, I'm gonna share my screen with you guys so we can watch the video. Here's just a little picture of class. The video is um, between Maya and James. And you guys will remember James from the joining in lesson. Remember the soccer? He stole the ball, that kind of thing. All right, without further ado, here is part one of the video. Okay, everyone. You've done so well on state capital, what do you know about it, that I am inspired to give away this remarkable, one-of-a-kind, funky monkey pencil, and an instant a grade exchange for any test you've taken all year. Woo! Are you ready? Yeah! Go on a fabulous pencil and the freebie test score. Name the capital of the state that Dorothy called home. Uh, um, it's so No control whatsoever. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ma'am, we're gonna blow. Oh, Code red, everyone. I repeat, Code red. Strong emotional response. 
Okay, so in that video, we saw the amygdala was in the leadership role there, and was he doing a very good job? Not really. Okay, so what happened to trigger Maya's strong emotion? So a trigger is what caused it, what happened to cause it? And we saw James stole her answer. She was whispering it, he heard it, shared it, and he won the prize that she wanted to win. What was happening in Maya's body? So this is an important question because when we have strong emotions that come on, our body is always going to give us clues. My body may not react to anger the same way as Mrs. Marissa's or Maya's, but it's important to know how your body reacts. So what was going on in Maya's body? Did you notice? We saw that her skin was getting hot, her face was getting red, her heart was starting to beat faster, her breathing got quicker, her stomach was churning and hurting, and her muscles were tensing up. She was getting ready for action, getting ready to fight. The emotional response that you saw, again, it happens to everybody. Any type of strong emotion, we're gonna feel something in our body, even with positive or comfortable emotions. Obviously, all of that in the video kind of was slowed down so you could see what's happening, and in real life, it happens pretty quickly. What was happening in her brain? This was the other thing. We talk about when your emotions take over, you don't always think straight. And we saw her brain had a lot going on. There was a lot of confusion and that thinking part was not in control. We saw she was on the phone trying to gain control of everything. That feelings part took over. Think of a time this happened to you. We've all experienced a strong emotion. You guys are in fourth grade. You've definitely experienced some strong emotions at this point in time. What was that trigger for you? And how did your body respond to it? What did it feel like? I know for me, mine is when I'm um, driving in the car. I get some road rage sometimes when I'm driving. And when someone cuts in front of me, when you're in all you're going 70 down the expressway and you gotta slam on your brake, and then like, you're, you're like, oh, take a deep breath and you feel like shock and anger and a little bit of fear. And then all of a sudden you're yelling at the person and <laughs> on that horn because you're like, oh my gosh. So that's my strong emotion when I'm driving. Okay, we have a part two of the video. So the first part we saw was that emotion getting out of control. Now we're gonna see, okay, what's gonna happen? So obviously we can't just end it there. So here is part two of the video with Maya. It's another one that's kind of long. It's about a minute and a half. So get comfortable. Uh-oh. That was weird. Are you? That was really weird. Wow. Sorry, you guys. That was odd. <laughs> Can you? OK, so I think I got to share the screen again. Technical difficulties. This is what happens when you're working from home. Here we go. All right. Well, maybe. Maybe we'll see part two. <laughs> it's a great time for a bathroom break if you need some water. <laughs> that was really weird. I'll have to check my uh, internet connection when this video is playing. <laughs> Coming, you guys. Okay. Here we go for part two. All right, watch what Maya, there we go. Watch what Maya does in this video. Let's see if she lets that anger take over. What's gonna happen? All right, here we go. <gasps> Do it. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you're just tuning in, James has regaled us with his domination in the category of the state capital. What do you know about it? And by giving us Topeka, the capital of Kansas, where dear Dorothy of the Wizard of Oz hailed from, he has won himself this fabulous funky monkey pencil and a free A test score. Yeah. Okay, okay, James, go take your seat. Okay, 
You cheater. You know I said you'll pay for first. You heard me say it. Oh, uh, too bad. You should have said it louder. <sighs> Always does that. Cheater, I'll break that pencil into tiny pieces. He thinks he's so smart. He's always ruining everything. I hate him. He'll be sorry. I'm sensing negativity. It's rushing in. People, we have a situation here. Negative thoughts firing. Amygdala. Pushing our buttons. Uh-oh, more negative thoughts. We're out of control here. Okay, so obviously she wasn't really calming down <laughs> right then. <laughs> what did you guys see happen to Maya's brain when James started taunting her? So when you taunt somebody, you're teasing them, kind of making fun of them a little bit. What happened to her brain? Well, we saw that it started thinking negative thoughts. And we know when we do negative self-talks, we say, you know, mean things to ourselves, mean things about others to ourselves. That's not going to help the situation. If anything, it's just going to make our emotion go bigger and bigger and bigger. And when that emotion grows bigger, I mean, you know, good isn't necessarily going to come from that. So what was some of the negative self-talk that Maya was saying? What did you guys hear? She was saying, he always does that. Cheater. He thinks he's so smart. He's always ruining everything. He'll be sorry. <laughs> I hate him. Which isn't nice to say, right? We shouldn't hate anybody. Okay. We've all done negative self-talk though at some point in our life. I'm sure some of you have said the same things Maya said either about somebody else, whoever. Um, what's going to happen if Maya just lets his anger keep growing and growing and growing? Well, she might yell at him again. She could get into a fight, which would get her into trouble. Um, she might say or do something that she's going to regret. And we know here it was James that kind of cheated. He said the answer, right? He overheard her. We don't want Maya to get into trouble for this, mm -hmm. right? Maya's upset. Is she allowed to be upset about this? Mm -hmm. Definitely. But we don't want her to get in trouble over this, right? I mean, she was the one that started this. So she's going to have to stop and calm down. Or does she? We will find out next lesson. So cliffhanger for you guys. We don't know if she's going to get in trouble. She's going to calm down. Is James going to be victorious in all this? I don't know. So we are going to share our screen. I'm going to share my screen again with you guys. Because um, I do think um, thinking about your own body and kind of thinking about the clues your body gives you when you feel a strong emotion is really important. Because when you know how your body reacts to an emotion, that's just you being able to be that much quicker and calming yourself down. In our share screen, you guys, oops, little bar up there, kind of gets in my way. <clears throat> you guys can pause this um, if you would like to complete it yourself out loud. You have two clipboards. One is, so strong emotions, um, angry, frustrated, irritated, nervous, sad, hurt, jealous, disrespected, embarrassed, or another emotion that you want. So you can think of a time you felt a strong emotion, check off one or more how it made you feel. For the purpose of this, I'm gonna check off angry. The next clipboard is physical signs. When you feel that emotion, what clues does your body give you? Feeling hot, face gets red, head hurts, stomach hurts, palms sweat, heart races, you can't think straight, muscles tighten up, your breathing gets faster, or other. Maybe you have something else that goes on. Um, I'll check off my face, feels hot, or gets red, I feel hot, I can't think straight. Now on the line part, right here. I feel really, fill in the emotions. So I'm gonna put angry. When, what causes that emotion? When someone cuts me off on the expressway and I have to slam on my brain. <laughs> I don't expect you to have that same answer because you guys can't even drive. So if you would like to pause the video now to pick your strong emotion, physical signs, and what causes that. Okay. If you didn't pause it, hello, still. And if you pause it and you press play again, welcome back. So we are going to hand it over to Miss Marissa for our um, closing. All right. 
Um, so today we learned that you can feel strong emotions when certain events happen. And we feel it in our brains, we feel it in our bodies. Our bodies are always going to give us clues as to how we're feeling. So make sure you pay attention to those clues um, because that will help you when we talk next week about calming down some more in the ways that you can calm down. Um, and try to ignore that negative self-talk. I know when you use negative self-talk, your emotions start to feel stronger and you don't want that amygdala taking over. So that feelings part. Um, and we actually have a new song today, one that you have never, ever heard. Um, and it's all about calming down. It is, but we might have to wait till next week because from whatever happened earlier, my um, thing just keeps loading the same page. <laughs> All right. Well, another cliffhanger for you guys, and we will play it for you next time, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye.